Hello, Kidlit TV. My name's Lindsay Metcalf, and this is my puppy, Gus. We are here to tell you about the new book, No World Too Big, Young People Fighting Global Climate Change. This is edited by me, Keila Dawson, and Jeanette Bradley, illustrated by Jeanette Bradley, and it's out now from Charles Bridge. This is a book that features young activists working to fight climate change all over the world. And this book will give you tools to fight against climate change. But today I wanted to do a little experiment with you so that we can have a basic understanding of what causes climate change. First, let's read the definition of the greenhouse effect. This is the process by which certain gases in Earth's atmosphere act like a blanket holding in heat energy from the sun. In the same way, a glass greenhouse or a car with the windows rolled up on a sunny day can trap and build up heat. For this experiment, you will need a two liter bottle where the bottom has been cut off. Have an adult help you with that part. You need scissors to cut the bottle, a timer, a thermometer, and something to record your observations with. On a sunny day, set up your thermometer above the ground and set your timer for one hour. After the hour's up, measure the temperature. This says about 73 degrees, which is warmer than the outside temperature of 47 degrees because the thermometer is absor absorbing heat from the table it's sitting on. Now we'll enclose it underneath this bottle and see what happens after another hour. And we'll reset the timer. Okay, it's time to check for results. And we have a reading of 82 degrees. That's a nine degree difference, folks. And this happens because heat from the sun was able to enter the bottle, but not all of it was able to escape. When we burn fossil fuels, that puts more greenhouse gases into the air, which makes the greenhouse effect worse. That's why we must reduce our dependency on fossil fuels. Thanks for experimenting with me today. And be sure to check out No World Too Big, which is available anywhere books are sold.